Hey all, Coach Ken here, and today I want to have a little quick video about pitch accuracy and intonation. Now one of the things that I see a lot of people kind of struggle with is staying on really accurate pitch as they move through a melody line, and one of the main issues for that is the shaping is just a little bit too out of whack, right? They go too far from one space to another, uh, the singer does, and that creates a little bit of a wonkiness in the, in the shaping and the resonance in the pitch. And let me kind of show you what I mean. I can sing the same pitch but give you the impression that it's different pitches. So really quickly, if I go forward with this and I sing, ooh, then that has one sound. But if I kind of sit that, rock that sound a little further back in the mouth and I say, ooh, now would you say, ooh, and ooh, sound the same, or sound like the same pitch? They have the same fundamental. They technically are the same pitch, but we activate different harmonics based upon how our shaping, how we shape our sound. So, <laughs> it's getting pretty complex, but what does this mean and how can you get better at having better intonation and being more accurate on pitch? Well, what you have to do is neutralize the vowel. As you sing through your song, you're going to move from vowel to vowel to vowel, right? But you have to allow the space to be relatively consistent all the way through instead of allowing it to move all over the place. Because when you do the latter, you're going to sound a little bit pitchier. Right? Whether you're technically on the pitch or not, the resonance that you're activating, the harmonics that you're, harmonics that you're activating are going to make one sound brighter and one sound darker. And when you kind of go on both ends of that spectrum, you swing on both ends of that spectrum, it's going to sound less accurate pitch-wise. So neutralize the shaping as you sing through the sound, and you'll find that your pitch accuracy and your intonation gets much, much better. So I hope this helps, and we'll be seeing you here in future videos.